Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to ETL Kiva Labs. This is Hetu and uh, in this session we will look at uh, data warehousing concept and uh, within that uh, we will look at types of fact and uh, type of facts in data warehouse, right? So in data warehousing uh, session, I think uh, we have already covered uh, uh, two to three sessions already and, uh, and we have already covered what is fact table, what is dimension table what is the significance of fact table, what is significance of dimension table, how they are basically correlated, right? Uh, that everything we have already covered as part of my fact and dimension tables uh, session. Uh, so if you need a uh, little more detail, uh, please go and watch that table. But uh, here also I'm trying to recap it little bit. Uh, so that, you know, it will be really making sense when I talk about additive facts, semi-additive facts, non-additive facts, etc. right? So let's try to understand facts, uh, this thing. So guys, in data warehousing, we uh, entire table, the structure in the data warehouse is basically divided into two type of table. One is fact, other one is dimension, right? And uh, dimension table will be many, but fact uh, tables will not be many, okay? So how it happens, how it is structured is basically, there is a primary key and foreign key relationship between fact and dimension. So for example, I have one fact table sales and I have four dimension table, uh, customer, uh, customer uh, product, date and sales person. These are the four different dimension tables. So primary key in each of this dimension table is, uh, is uh, you know, uh, the foreign key in uh, the, in the fact table, right? Sales fact table. So uh, you can see this product ID here is a primary key, but I have actually uh, considered as a product key as a foreign key here, right? So basically how many dimension table you will have, those many primary keys um, uh, will be uh, referring uh, to the, uh, I mean basically those many uh, foreign key will be there uh, in the, uh, in your dimension uh, fact table guys, right? So let's try to understand little bit uh, about this, uh, you know, uh, entire uh, structure. So guys, this is uh, also called uh, the structure, right? How the foreign key, uh, sorry, how the uh, dimension table and fact tables are connected together. This is uh, also called as uh, a star schema guys here, right? So you look like, it looks like a star kind of shape, right? So one uh, central table, that is the fact table and we have the corresponding um, uh, dimension table to support those data, right? So if you see that, what is the cells, what is the uh, dimension table contains basically dimension table uh, contains the textual information in nature mostly, right? So this basically provides more information about product. So for example, product ID, product name, product brand, right? Similarly, customer uh, dimension table. So customer dimension table is also providing uh, more information about the customer, right? So, uh, so here what we are doing is we are actually taking, um, uh, referencing the, the, you know, the primary key from the dimension table and taking one, uh, creating one foreign key in each of this, uh, for each of this dimension in, um, in the fact table. Okay. Now, uh, what does the fact table contains guys? So if you see here, fact table basically contains all the, all the corresponding foreign key from all the dimension tables plus it has its own primary key and plus it has some uh, you know the measures right so measure these are very important this is the one which basically distinguishes primary key uh, basically distinguish between dimension and fact table so dimension table will always have some fact fact or i will say the measured column are the or I would also say that business uh, business related measurements, right? For example, quantity sold per unit price, uh, quantity left, etc. So these are basically numerical values, right? And these are basically the business uh, measurements, right? So for example, I say quantity sold is 100, which is nothing but it is something, you know, indicating that this is a business. Uh, business, uh, what do you say? Um, uh, quantity, right? So business measurement uh, based on this particular sales ID, right? So sales ID basically is having sales ID, customer ID, product ID, sales person ID, date ID, and then other information like quantity sold per unit price and then quantity left, how many are left is still, right? 
so these are few things like uh, so uh, now I, I hope you understand right so the diamond uh, the fact tables basically contains all the foreign key from each of this dimension tables which are connected plus it has uh, it has the uh, you know numerical value or the business measurements and these are nothing but they are called facts guys the, these these numerical values uh, these uh, columns are basically called uh, these attributes are basically called the facts okay uh, and uh, 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 but in case of dimension we do not have any fact okay so if you find in your design when you work on your testing project when you see that any of the dimension table which is having this kind of uh, information like uh, quantity or unit price something like that you know that basically represents uh, the numerical value and which might have so significant impact and then you have to just raise a buck for this guys because this is not something you know expected right but uh, there might be some uh, you know um, numerical column obvious numerical column for example if customer is there i would like to record the age right in that case that age is again a numerical field but you know that is very related to this particular uh, uh, customer itself right it is not impacting any business it is it is not impacting the business values right so we have to little bit understand but roughly if you find you know uh, the any numerical value in the dimension table then uh, you have to raise it you have to flag it to the developer right that uh, this might be a defect or it might be problem from the data modeler so so who create basically all this fact and dimension because this is there is a separate data modeling team or database team who basically takes care of all these things and by mistake they might have created it right so it is our responsibility as part of testing a tester that we need to raise all those kind of things right so uh, now i think we are able to understand what fact contains what dimension contains now we will talk about you know what type of this facts are so this session is basically i just wanted to cover entire thing so that you know you understand uh, you know roughly how the star schema is connected how the fact and dimensions are connected but then uh, the ultimate goal is to understand what is what are these facts right so these are fact these are uh, numerical values or the measurements right so for example for a sales id for uh, which uh, sales customer id what is the product id what is the sales person id who basically sold it when and what you know what is the date id and uh, and then what is the quantity sold for this particular uh, sales id right and what is the per unit price that we have charged what is the quantity left right now after selling it right so all those kind of things so this is a single record let's say and uh, so we need to understand what are these basically columns right what are these measurements so these measurements can be of three types guys okay one is uh, fully additive or we also called is additive right so let's go to definition additive facts right so additive facts are facts or measures which which uh, which can which aggregation can be on which aggregation can be performed across all dimensions right so for example let's say i have something called uh, quantity sold all right so quantity sold i can say that you know uh, across this dimension so for example let's say i would like to find out the total quantity sold uh, per customer or based on a particular customer or by customer right so i can just group by on the customer id right then i will be able to find it the total quantity sold right here also i can find the total quantity sold based on the product also right so how many products are there and uh, it might have been sold to multiple customers also uh, but i would like to sell it for i want to find it uh, for you know um, each of the products how much quantity is sold right so this particular column and again uh, by date also right so uh, let's say for example uh, in the last month what is the total sales that has happened that also i can find it right again from the sales person uh, sales person also so for how many uh, i mean by each sales person what is the total quantity sold so all those kind of information i can easily interpret right i can use the aggregate function on the quantity sold guys so right so the fact for example this is one fact and the fact one second guys let me take the ink okay then i think i will be able to one second guys 
all right so for example this right so this is total uh, quantity sold right so quantity sold can be aggregated it can have average or let's say for example now we are talking about some right so we can sum up the total quantity sold based on customer based on person id i mean by person uh, by sales person by product by date right so across all the dimensions i can actually aggregate it right so this kind of so this kind of uh, fact which can be aggregated across all the dimensions are called additive facts okay so hope you are able to understand right now uh, talk let's talk about semi additive facts so semi additive facts are basically facts or measures on which aggregation can be performed across some dimensions not all dimensions okay but uh, uh, against some of the dimensions we can uh, perform and against some of the dimensions we cannot perform right so let's take the example of this okay so in this case only i have i have quantity left guys okay so here quantity left quantity left so quantity left um, it is something you know uh, when i sell some product let's say i have 50 quantity i sold let's say quantity sold 20 and then quantity left will be 30 right because 30 is the uh, left out i mean that is uh, the remaining one right in this case uh, do you think that it makes any sense to to find out the sum of the quantity left uh, by date or maybe by month right so let's say for last month how much was the quantity left for for the all the products does it make sense i think this doesn't make any sense right this doesn't make any sense right but on a, a given product let's say right on a given product if i would like to find out what is the quantity left by each of the product okay then i will be easily able to understand what is the left over quantity in each of the product right so so uh, summing up um, or you know aggregating the quantity left by product is really making sense right and then i based on that i can take certain decision right but uh, aggregating uh, by month or year doesn't make any sense because this we really don't need right again so quantity left uh, by per person by sales person right quantity left by sales person does it make any sense no because this is on the product level right so it is actually um, quantity left is uh, making sense when we are aggregating uh, aggregating uh, uh, we are performing the aggregation and the quantity left only against the product so uh, quantity left is a column or i would say the fact which is which can only be aggregated against or by product it cannot be aggregated against customer cannot be aggregated against salesperson cannot be aggregated against date because it doesn't make really sense right so this kind of uh, you know uh, facts which cannot be aggregated against all the dimensions available dimensions then those are called semi additive facts okay sorry semi additive facts yeah now the last category is non additive facts guys right so non additive additive fact is a fact uh, on which aggregation uh, can be performed across none of the dimensions which means uh, we cannot perform dimensions across any of the dimension okay so this cannot be aggregated at all okay so let's see what kind of information okay so let's say i have this guys okay let me take this color i want sorry guys i think okay i i wanted to just take one second i wanted to take yes per unit price okay so per unit price is something basically you know um, it is basically on the product level right so uh, so when i'm selling let's say one product and uh, what is the price market price or per unit price for that product right 
do you think that does it make sense even to aggregate across any of this dimension so for example if i say that can you find out the you know um, some of the some of the per unit price across uh, across you know uh, sales person or customer or product or date no right it 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 cannot be summed up similarly uh, let's say there may be one more column for example let's say tax or vat okay vat tax okay so if you are putting let's say 5% tax or gst for example uh, for easy reference right so we are actually also let's say i have one more column here gst okay gst percentage okay so uh, what i'm doing is i am basically uh, giving some let's say 2% 3% whatever gst is applicable on that product right on that particular sales item uh, so do you think is does it make sense to aggregate uh, uh, at least uh, uh, does it make sense that we will uh, go and uh, do the aggregation on the gst percentage across any of these dimensions like by customer by sales sum of gst by customer sum of gst by um, sales person sum of gst by product or any date right it doesn't make any sense right so these are these are the sum of the facts so this is the, like per unit in this case is non additive facts it cannot be uh, uh, i mean they, uh, we cannot perform any aggregation for this particular uh, fact right so this fact is called non additive facts okay guys so i try to you know uh, explain it um, in the you know easiest way that i could do and uh, if you still uh, have any questions or concern please uh, do drop your comments uh, on the comment box uh, i will try to clarify if you still have some question but uh, this is what i wanted to cover right so additive facts semi additive facts and non additive additive facts guys okay so these are part of uh, your fact table and uh, they are the numeric column and some of them can be additive can of some of them can be semi additive some of can be uh, non additive right so this is the data warehouse concept and very important i think from the interview point of view so please do note it and uh, you know um uh, if you're not able to understand one time try to uh, you know repeat this video and uh, pause it and try to understand i think uh, this is very important okay so thank you guys i think uh, that's all for this video and uh, i will uh, uh, come back soon on the other topic and uh, until then happy learning guys and uh, okay one more thing guys uh, please do subscribe uh, this channel if you are really liking this videos uh, i have put so many amazing videos on data warehousing unix uh, so go and watch there and uh, i think those will be uh, definitely benefiting you for your knowledge of your growth or for interview perspective okay so that's all for this video and uh, see you soon with the next video god bless you thank you guys